President Mohamed Buhari has met with some delegation from Brunei State in a bid to combat insurgency in the Northeast. The president at the meeting restated his administration's unwavering determination to equip the military. He also told the delegation led by Governor Kashim Shatima of Brunei State that the collective safety and security of civilians would continue to remain paramount in the administration's strategy to restore peace and stability in the region. Only Adekunle has the rest of that story. For the past nine years, Nigeria's northeastern Borno state has been battling Boko Haram insurgents. And despite the heavy presence of military personnel and the launch of various military operations, the insurgency has continued to persist. At this meeting with President Mohamed Buhari, the state governor, Kashim Shetima, recounts the most difficult spell and efforts to curtail the insurgency. Borno State suffered its worst times between 2013 and 2014. In that period, Boko Haram abducted our children, attacked and took firm control of 20 out of the 27 local government areas of Borno. In these 20 local government areas, they established caliphates and put in place sovereign administrators who strictly imposed tax systems and violent laws. They abuse our young daughters. They force young men to join their fighters. They turn all men and women into domestic slaves and they publicly executed parents in the presence of their own children and wives for allegedly offending laws that are even alien to the religion of Islam itself. While administering our 20 local government areas, Boko Haram operated from council secretariats in headquarters of local government areas and lived in palaces of traditional rulers, military barracks, and police stations. On the other hand, from 2015 to 2018, the Nigerian military with you as commander-in-chief was able to liberate all the 20 local government areas hitherto under Boko Haram suzerainty. With these successes, the Borno State government was able to rebuild more than 30,000 homes in various communities with all public facilities restored. With Mr. President's leadership, many of our hitherto displaced brothers and sisters, including some of our traditional rulers, voluntarily returned to rebuild communities in 14 local government areas, including Burma. Mr. President, I recollected all this for the sole purpose of establishing the irony in our visit today. After the governor's speech, Buhari assures he's still committed to the development of the state and the northeast region. Maybe this time we we'll go back, we we'll start from Gombe, where again uh, gas has been discovered. Uh, so there was uh, what they call um, Benue Trau and to Delta. Uh, all that um, um, his ability studies, you know, has, has been done, and uh, the prospect is that um, there can be uh, petroleum products, and that I believe will help to stabilize Nigeria. I'm very pleased you have decided to come and see me. I would have been extremely disappointed if you hadn't come. <laughs> But now um, I feel at peace that uh, I have regained my constituency <laughs> uh, in, in, in full. And um, of course, um, I know some of you personally, uh, especially those who have been governors and uh, in the top civil service, uh, I know them and I know their records. So I very much appreciate uh, this effort you have made in consolidating my support in a region I can claim uh, as uh, part of myself as a person. The Borno State delegates are also led to the visit by Senate leader Alin Dumi. They tell State House reporters that President Buhari retains their support in the 2019 election. These two elders said 
they are people that speak the truth. I'm sure that somebody like President uh, Gondogoni, this is the first time he's stepping in here, I think for a very long time, long five, time. six, or seven yeah, years. Yes. Yes. Finally, God has helped us. And you know, God is always with the truthful. That these people have decided, that these people have decided not only to leave PDP, but to declare their influencing support to the four and the second term of Mr. President. And I can assure you, for Borno, Northeast, and most of the states in Northeast, this is somehow the burial ceremony of PDP and Atiku's ambition in the Northeast. I can assure you that. Buhari, who is seeking a second term in office, has promised to completely eradicate the insurgents if elected again. Only Adekunle TV 360, Nigeria.